Alright, so it's late. <laughs> it's like ten twenty eight at night. Um to those that are interested in how did I quit smoking with vaping, okay? What you'll do is you'll wanna get um like a box mod. Um you'll wanna know how to clean it out. Um, clean up. You can do the coils or you can do the replacement coils. You can go either way with that. Um, even with like pods, okay, the vaping pods. You'll have, if you don't know about it, you know, just go down to like, I don't know where you're at, Kings of Vapor. There's all kinds of vape shops in the world. Okay, and you know, things that I say that might interest you. Um, Things that I say that might interest you, you know, you can say to whoever works there, you know, don't then, if you let them talk you into doing something, it's going to be something with a lot of nicotine, and they're going to do their best to keep you vaping, okay, the whole point behind this is to gradually get away from vaping as well, okay, and once you make that step, that I'm going to tell you about here shortly. I'm not going to be one of these assholes that keeps going on and on and on and on. Alright. <clears throat> but once you get to that point, you'll you'll get it. Okay. So with me, alright, when I, when I first started vaping, my whole desire was to quit vaping as well. But to get the, the tar and the nicotine and all that out of my system... I really come to realize that the vaping helped in a humongous way, okay? When I would, when I first started, I mean, if you first start, you're going to, yeah, you're probably going to have a hard time. You're going to cough, you're going to hack, not knowing how to, you know, inhale enough from the vape, vapor, what do you want to call it, the pod, even pods work just as well, I'm sure, okay? When you first start off, if you've never done it, you know, yeah, you might cough and heck, you get the hang of it. A little bit like smoking in the beginning, but not as trivial. Um, the major thing that you want to remember is this, okay? You're going to start off at what they call level 9 Nic. Okay, nicotine level 9. Why do I say that? Well, that's what I started off with, okay? By the way... My buddy Brian explained it to me was a level nine taking taking a draw off a level nine nick of any flavor, okay? I don't care what flavor you choose. Okay, is like taking a hit off a cigarette. Okay, and that's it. When you smoke, you know, your body craves the nicotine plus the tar. Okay, so you inhale the nine for three months. Jeez, I wheeze, man. I'm being blown up on Facebook. <laughs> but, um, you're, in, you're inhaling this as if, you know, you feel like you want to have a, a cigarette, you want to take a draw off a cigarette, grab the vapor. Grab the, the pod. You know, that's another thing that you use to vape. Okay. But you want it to be a level nine. And do this for, like, three months. If I remember right, and we're talking five years ago, I'm old. But I believe I did, yes, I did the level 9 for three months, okay? Three months later, I dropped down to a level 6, okay? Did that for three months. Did I do it for a month apiece? Hell, you could try and do it for a month, you know? Even a month, hell, I mean, maybe give it a shot. I, I'm sorry, but I just really don't remember, but I know what I did. Um, but yeah, I, I dropped from, I started with the nine and then I went down to a level six. Okay. And in the mix of doing all this, I didn't even realize what was going on. I was clearing out my lungs, the vapor stuff. It was cleaning the tar and the nicotine actually out of my lungs because, you know, if you notice with people that vape, okay, when they vape, someone that is still a smoker, okay, the, the, the cloud, 
it could be really dark like a dark gray kind of cloud okay and that's going to tell you that this person that is doing that <coughs> their lungs are you know they're filled with par nicotine okay because if your lungs are clean and clear I'm not a doctor we all know that you know and I'm not trying to tell you I am but the, the, the thing I learned and everybody around me at the time the clouds went from being dark kind of like my beard <laughs> kind of like my beard went you know like a dark like a dark gray and then it got lighter almost, and it got down to the point to where it was white when I would vape and exhale it would be white and at that point it was like my lungs were cleared I mean I had no tar I had no nicotine in there you know that's the way I see it the way that feels to me anyway um, and so from a nine down to a six okay and down to a three so every three months drop a level okay and there's so many different flavors out there people I'm telling you what you'll have a blast with just the flavors I mean watermelon butterscotch chocolate fudge uh, coffee different coffee coffee tastes um, I mean, there's so many different flavors out there man and that's really what <laughs> I'll tell you the truth that's really what got me going man it was like the different tastes I mean it was like wow but then I you know after all the three months would go by and I drop down from one to another and you know you say okay so you get down to a three what do you do what's under a three there's a zero okay so here's what I did I took I would buy a level three Nick and a zero okay and the zero is just juice flavor okay it's just a flavor there's no nicotine in there at all all right so you take these two and you combine them both into one bottle okay I did a lot of mixing I'm telling you what I did a lot of different flavor mixes it was fun it really was but you want to make sure you get a refillable okay anything that you buy make sure the tank is refillable on it okay oh don't let them do this oh here here's this pin and you know it's got like uh, 50 uh, draws or 50 hits or whatever they want to say on it you know and you're good to go for a while blah 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 well uh, yeah you do them up and you know you start liking it and they say you know tomorrow you're back in there spending more money for another one you know it's how they they're reeling you in baby <laughs> so just keep the level head I mean if you want to quit it is possible when I got down to the point of it was what three months later if it wasn't a month I really I can't really remember truthfully but I think it was I want to say three months it might have been a month but it got down to you know mixing the zero and the 50 to, or zero and 50 the zero and the three together you know you split that down the middle that's half of each you know it's almost like no nicotine at all and at this point you're noticing when you exhale your vapor it's not gray it's not gray anymore it's more of a white okay after that three months goes by you're no longer you're no longer buying a level three zero 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 is all you're gonna need you know rather be <coughs> menthol watermelon um, you know they got menthols yeah they do they got watermelon they got butterscotch they got cotton candy <laughs> man they got so many damn good flavors out there you know it, stuff that would just like 
blow your mind, but it's there. It really is. Um, and, you know, it just, there was one day, okay, I didn't even think about grabbing the vapor, like when I would wake up in the morning and get up to go to work or whatever. I didn't even think about it. It didn't phase me. I didn't, you know, and everybody's like, do you even vape anymore, John? No. I guess I don't. Because <laughs> I haven't, I haven't had it in my hand for over a week, you know. But, I'm going to tell you, did I go back to vaping at any point in time? If I did, it went to zero. Okay. I keep them around. I'm not going to say I don't. I do. I keep them around. Because if I get that frustrated, that irritated, that, you know, um, stressed out, yeah, I'm going to grab that, I'm going to grab that pod, or I'm going to grab that vape, you know, the mod, whatever I got laying around, I, I keep them around, I do, the batteries are all dead and all of them, I got to get some batteries, <laughs> I got to recharge them, but I don't feel the desire for it right now, you know what I mean, it's nice to live a, a stress-free life, it really truly is, and I'm somehow I'm blessed on that um but that that's what it really boils down to people I mean I hope really really truly hope I can help somebody out there if not one a billion people that would be great um I would love to do a seminar you know if I could find somewhere to do that how to do that I don't know I got no clue on how to go about doing a seminar but I would love to. I would truly love to. But I get up in the morning and get my daughter off to school. I go to work. I come home. That's pretty much my life. Taking care of my little girl. So there it is. I can't tell you no more. I don't see no sense in showing you all this stuff because I can't hand it to you. I can't give it to you. You know what I mean? Go down to the nearest vape, vaping shop. You know, like I say, make sure everything's clean. You know, like if you do coils, you replace coils, you know, put new coils in or anything like that. You get into that. <coughs> Make sure they're clean, okay? Don't let them get rock black. You know, they'll taste like crap anyway. Cotton burns, it tastes horrible. So, you know, just keep an eye on that. And there you go. I mean, I don't know what more I can really say. But, you know, enjoy the flavors. There's billions of them out there, I'm sure. Enjoy the flavors. Um, just make sure you don't, you know, burn the coils up. You turn the turn the level to a certain le um, Some got levels, you know, you can bring up or down or whatever. You can change the how you inhale it from airflow, like max airflow, little airflow, all that. I always kept mine max airflow. I kept the airflow wide open on them. Um, but, um, yeah, just keep them clean, you know, replace your, your coils. If you should burn them up, you know, instantly, <laughs> take my word for it. You'll know instantly if you burn up a coil, you know, replace the coil, put a new one in there, clean out, you know, your system first and put the new coil in there. And if you say, oh man, <laughs> well, if you really want to spend the money going down there and buy you another one. Um, I know the, the the pods, the vaping pods, they're all different shapes and sizes. A lot of refillable tanks. Okay, there are a lot of refillable tanks. Get those. And they come with like one or two extra um, uh, filters. Coils. Coils. Call them coils. Um, they come with extra ones. So... And enjoy.
You know, like I said, keep them clean, though. That, that's the main thing. Keep them clean. And remember, nine, six, three, and then three and one together for three months. If you really, really, truly want to quit, why did I quit? My daughter. I put it out there just like yeah, like I've said it before. I quit smoking because of my daughter. I was smoking three packs of cigarettes a day. And they were menthol. And they weren't the lights. <laughs> it was home, home. Um, I smoked Marlboro for numerous years. Numerous years I smoked Marlboro. I even smoked Newport, you know. Um, and then the price of cigarettes went up, so I ended up, you know, um, what do they call them, stuffing my own, packing my own, you know, with the machine and all that crap. But then, you know, one day I was like, man, I'm not getting no younger. I got the baby running around. I want to see my little girl at least graduate. There it is. I at least... It, it, the last thing I see in my lifetime is my youngest daughter graduate high school. That'll be perfect. That'll be perfect. And I knew the way it was going for me, you know, I was going to end up with problems with my lungs and because of my history, the family history and stuff like that, you know. So I didn't want to take no chances. I bet a hundred thousand people have done. I bet a few, I ain't gonna say that. I know a few people have done turn this video off. I'm like, dude, you're talking out your ass. <laughs> Think what you want, say what you want, feel what you will. I'm just trying to help somebody. I hope I help at least one person. If I help one person, you know, I, I believe I'd be doing what at least. One, one's better than none. So. Alright. I was going to do this live, but then I was like, eh, you know what. I'm just do it like this real quick. Because, you know, get into asking the questions and everything like that. I don't have time. Sorry. I really don't. It's uh, quarter till 11. And I got to get to sleep. Get up and do it all over again in the morning. Monday through Friday, that's what I do. And on the weekends, I spend all my time with my daughter. So, alright folks, God bless, take care. And just remember this. If you wake up in the morning, and you see daylight, it's another day. Put a smile on your face, and go do what you gotta do. And that's the way it is. <laughs> that sounded corny. God bless. Take care. I am Audio Man. I'm out of here.